three, two, one, butter. <laughs> What's up everyone? Thanks for coming back. Man, we're making up some butter tonight. You've already seen the first butter video we did. Kind of rough, not a whole lot of instruction. But what I've learned was there's two ways to make butter. There's the easy way and then there's the real easy way. Tonight, we're gonna be making butter the real easy way. The mixing should be done in about three minutes and then we're just on to rinsing and pressing. This should go really quick, should be really easy. If you've got one of these mixers or uh, any other kind, any other brand of mixer with your whisk attachment, this is gonna go real quick. Recipe's the same. Check this out. Okay, so to get this going, what we're gonna do is just use some regular heavy whipping cream. Now, I pull this out and I let it sit at room temperature. You want it to be warm. I let it sit out for at least an hour. You don't wanna pull it right out of the fridge. It's just not gonna churn up as, as quickly as it could. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and use the entire, the entire thing here. And it's gonna make a lot of butter, but I can share this butter with some family. What you wanna do is put your cream in, Put your whisk in there and we're gonna work this from low until it starts to thicken, it'll happen pretty quick. And then we're gonna get it up to high and we're gonna churn it on high. It should stop, or we should be able to stop at about three minute mark, uh, but you'll see. I'll stop periodically to show you what it looks like on the inside. But if you've got a shield, a splash guard, a pour shield, now is the time to use this bad boy. Um, it's also a good idea to have uh, another rag around because pretty sure it's gonna get messy. All right, plugged in. Here we go, nice and easy. Already starting to thick it up in there. I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna turn it up. Okay, we're rocking a full 10 now. It's WFO. So a couple kids just left, a couple kids just got home. I wanna show you this real quick. So, pull this bad boy off. Show you this real quick. Some of the fat has started to separate already from some of the sugars. And what you get is, with your fat, you get the butter. With the sugars, you get the buttermilk. Now check this out. Now we're not quite there. You can see it's still a little creamy. This is just past whipped cream and it's not quite to butter. But you see how we've got all that milk down there in the bottom, that's good stuff. All right, at this point, it's getting kind of sloppy, so I'm gonna put the towel around the outside of this because it's still flying out through the edges of the splash guard, but let's finish this up. A Little bit more to go. And let's go. Okay, so you can see here, Still got a little bit to go. I want to butter down in there. Still got a little bit to go. All right, let's check this again. And you can see down inside there, got our butter. Plenty of butter down there, plenty of milk. I think we are there. What we want to do right now is drain off that milk, that buttermilk that's down there. And we're going to save that. Might make some uh, buttermilk pancakes tomorrow for the kids. It's delicious stuff. And what I want to do is get all 
this off to one side. Okay, so at this point, what we've got is we've got our butter. And if you look down on the bottom here, you can see that there's still a little bit of liquid down there. There's still some of the sugars or the buttermilk in the butter. We gotta get that out of there. The best thing to do is pour some really cold water over this and we're just gonna run this mixer again. And it's basically gonna push, it's gonna tighten everything up. The cold water is gonna cause everything to contract and it's gonna push the rest of the milk or the, the sugars, the buttermilk, out of the butter. Fan of cheesecloth. So I'm gonna use a whole jar of this ice water. And you wanna use ice water. It has to be cold. If it's warm, you're gonna melt your butter. You want this cold. Okay. Wrap, and here we go. Let's rinse it. I'll show you guys this real quick. Okay, so again, you can look down there. It looks like we got a lot of buttermilk, and we do. We put clear water in there, but the liquid in the bottom is still kind of milky. <laughs> see, what I, see what I did there? The milky, it's still kind of milky. So what we want to do is we're going to rinse this off again, and we're going to put more ice water in there. It's basically rinse and repeat until it's clear-ish. I pour the water out, I'm kind of controlling where everything goes. Okay. Here we go, more ice water. Back in to rinse. Water's still pretty cloudy. We're still getting some milk out of there. Let's rinse it again. Okay. Let's take a peek here. Tell you what, I think that's about as clear as our water's gonna get. Let's go ahead and rinse this off. Pat out some butter. There we go. Nice, good chunk of butter. And let's start working with these paddles. I'm telling you, I love these paddles. Country Trading Company Butter and Gnocchi Paddles. I know the light's poor, sorry. These things, man, I love them. They've got little scrapers, edges, and they've got some serrated, not serrated, but grooved edges. Great for rolling gnocchi, but also the grooves in these things help channel out some of the moisture as you're pressing this butter. Because we'll continue to get this moisture out of here. Got a good amount of water coming out of this already. And it'll just keep coming out. We want to get that moisture out of there. It's good clear water at this point. It's not really cloudy at all. Just keep working it. Get that moisture out of there. All right, now that I've got this one all ready to go, nice little jar here with a seal, nice little cover. I'm just gonna sp spatula some of this in here, smoosh it down. Again, the world's best spatula. Keep sliding off. Perfect. There's one little crock of butter.
Okay, I think I got it where I want it. I'm gonna put a little salt, a little garlic in this. Make us some flavored, little flavored butter. So, five cloves of garlic for the salt. I do like to use a pink salt. I'm gonna do about, about a teaspoon, half, uh, it's about a half a teaspoon of salt. And just for this, one little bit, I'm gonna do a little cayenne pepper, about a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Amy's gonna love this. This is gonna be her favorite butter ever. All right, let's mix this up. Oh, this smells delicious. Oh my gosh. All right, let's give it a little taste test. Oh, wow. Mmm, man, that's good. I can taste all three. Amy, you're gonna love this. Wow, it's got the right amount of salt. You can taste the garlic, it's not overpowering, and there's just a little hint of heat, just a little, not even heat, just a little kick, tiny little kick from the cayenne pepper. Man, this is the best butter I've ever had in my life. Hey, listen guys, if you've ever wanted to make butter, it's so easy. Look, I just did it, you just saw it, it happened that quick. If you don't have a mixer, you can do it with a hand crank. It takes a little bit longer, but you know what? This is the easiest thing in the world, homemade butter. This stuff's gonna last about three weeks in the fridge. Great as a gift for someone. Great to flavor up any way you want. We could have put anything in here and you will. You'll put in here whatever you want. Man, this stuff is great. If you like this video, hit the like button down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd be interested to see what you guys are doing with your butter. If you got any kind of recipes, throw me a comment down below, man. I'd love to try anything you guys are trying and hey, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button so you can see the next time we drop a video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Oh, shit. Bloopers. Fucking thing. Okay. All right. Okay, let's, let's get this going. Yep. All right, rinsing one more time. Here we go. I gotta plug it in. <laughs>